Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Titan Quest Immortal Throne and when we last left our hero he was at the River Styx and the ferryman was not really there and that was kind of bad so we're just gonna continue on continue on our way and see if we can find the ferryman and bring him back to the boat to cross the Nile if uh, that was the river he... no it's the River Styx else it wouldn't be called the River Styx wouldn't it? I'm smart! anyway um... yeah Let's find that guy who's no longer driving the boat. So he can. Whoa! Da! Ah, hell dog thing. Bone scourge! Now that sounds bad. That sounds like something you do not want to get hit by very often. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. That's gonna be the plan. Although they just look like hellhounds to me, but you know, I am picky about names, so they. Except for usernames for YouTube channels, I suppose. Hehehe. <laughs> but, you know, different story for a different time. And now is not the different time. That's an otherworldly chest. Contains otherworldly stuff like a health potion. I suppose in here it is kind of otherworldly, technically. Because, you know, why would you have a health potion? Or a healing potion, even. In a place like this. I don't know. Everyone here seems to be kind of undead, so they wouldn't really have much use for it now, would they? I'm not even sure if you can call it undead when you're, well, in the land of the dead and stuff, so they're just kind of... How would that work? Yeah, I have no idea what you would call that, actually. Hmm. A question for a different time once again. How would you call someone who is dead, but when you're wandering around the land of the dead, so technically he's alive, but he's dead and alive, but technically I could be considered dead now because I am in, in the land of the dead. But maybe I'll just, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go on this little bridge type thing here because it looks nice. The Shrine of the Golden Bow. I presume that's how you pronounce bow. Or that or bog. <laughs> But that seems unlikely, so... I'm gonna assume it's bow. And will not question what the meaning of that word actually is. Am I supposed to go up here? No, there's not much of interest in here, and I'll paint out, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah, lots of owl, and I can't move. This is bad, this is quite bad, and I can't move again. Great. Okay, um, yeah, lesson for today, don't do that. Also, I, I keep getting stunned, I think. Maybe it's time to actually put on some of that stun resistance stuff I had. Uh, let's see, where, where is that amulet? 80% stun resistance, let's, uh, I mean, we'll lose some speed, but not getting stunned all the time is kind of nice. That's a blue thing, but it's a staff, so then I don't really have any judgment whether or not that's any good. And I can't be bothered to switch to that plus one spirit mastery amulet because that would take time and effort and I don't feel like spending such a thing for a little lich king who's probably not gonna do anything anyway. Okay, I'm moving really slow. I'm just noticing how slowly I'm moving right now, so... I'll just keep it for when I am encountering more of those undead skeletons. What are you? That, 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 what? A formicid. Ooh, he slowed me down. Slow. There we go. You can't even see how long it takes before you stop being slowed down either. That's kind of annoying. One of those things that I wouldn't have minded, to be brutally honest. But you know, you can't have everything, but you can't ask for it. It never hurts to ask. Except that it does hurt some people. Most of the developers, but they have gone extinct anyway. I wonder what happened to the people who actually worked on this game. I mean, I know that, I believe, uh, Iron Lore is what it's called, is um, kind of bankrupt, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I'm not, not really sure what happened to those people. Maybe they uh, went on to make other games, like Diablo 3 or I don't know. I'll have to look into that later, actually. I'm kind of curious now. Uh, if the developers of this game made any other interesting stuff, because as silly as this game looks and probably is to watch, really, it is still a lot of fun, even if it is kind of easy. With the different classes, it is actually a little harder, in my opinion, especially uh, 
Well, it kind of depends what you're doing, actually. Some bosses are really hard as a melee class, and other classes are pretty hard as a ranged class. And especially so in the later difficulties. So, yeah, it, it, it's... I, it's kind of hard to make a perfect balance of, of everything when you have to consider, like, casters and... Well, to make sure that it is possible for every class to beat the game, pretty much. Um, this is an unfinished bridge, and I know I actually have to cross this bridge, because this is one of the lonely parts I remember. I actually thought I made it to the bridge earlier when I made it to that shrine, and it looked kind of similar. But I know I have to cross that bridge, so I'm just gonna go in this direction. I believe there was actually a rebirth fountain in that direction as well, so that's more of a hint that we had to go in that direction. But first, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. There's a small chest in here. Who knows what the Ooh, durable wristlet and a helm of whatnot and stuff. So yeah, definitely glad I went in this direction. Wouldn't have wanted to lose my helm of whatnot, so yeah. Overall, pretty happy. Pretty happy indeed. But let's continue. Let's uh, see if we can find more of these Ettins. They may be called Trogdol- Wait, what are they called? Trogdolite? Really? Hmm, I'll have to look into that when I see another enemy. It looked like it said Trogdolite, and that seems really unlikely. And of course, from this point on, I'm never gonna see an enemy like that ever again, but you know. We'll see. Do 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 mentors thingy. And yeah, I'm pretty much reaching a full circle in here, and there don't really appear to be any quest mobs anywhere nearby, which is kind of sad. But uh, whatever. We got some experience, which is always my excuse for going to places where I really didn't need to get. Ooh, a sting! What could that be? It's a. Yeah, that's an axe type thing, it would seem. Not really interested. Because I believe I may... Okay, no, that joke's really getting old. I'm not a melee class. <laughs> and that's why I don't really want it, sir. Not really. Although this place looks a little weird. Maybe this leads to a side quest of some sort. I don't know. I don't remember... I don't remember this place at all. Oh, it does seem to lead to some sort of um, side questy MacGuffin. So, hey. A, it's a guy... Ooh! A uh, trog, oh troglodyte, right? I thought it said troglodyte, and that just reminded me of trogdor, and that is a silly thing to be reminded of in a game like this. So yeah, let's see uh, if he's happy I killed that guy. Yeah. You have freed me. Yeah. But can I go on while others suffer? No, I will not cross the sticks until the way is clear for all shades. I will run the ferry myself, but I cannot move Caron's boat without his oar. And I fear that the ferryman has discarded it when he left his post. If you could find the ore, I will take it up and become a ferryman myself. In the meantime, I shall return to the boat. Sounds good. Guess we have to find ourselves an ore. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, there's a tree here. Could just build one itself. Yeah, that's uh, that probably would have been a good idea, but it's probably... Well, you know, I did pick up an axe, so yeah, it shouldn't really be too hard to create an ore. Although, I guess uh, with the river sticks, different rules apply what kind of ore you need. You need to be blessed by the gods and stuff, and um, yeah. These pieces of wood don't really look that blessed to, from the gods to me, if, if, if I were to be asked about uh, the current state of these ores, so... Or these trees, rather. Although these things kind of move by themselves, so it does kind of say it, uh, they, it does look like they're alive, so maybe there's some blessing in there somewhere, I don't know, but let's just continue ignoring these things and just pick up the quest item that is inevitably Stay in this direction. Or be destroyed. Eh, I don't mind being destroyed. I, I can live with that. No one may pass. Oh, look, he still has the uh, ore, so I guess uh, oh, he's throwing water at me. Deadly bubbles! No! Oh, deadly bubbles that summon deadly ghosts. Oh, that's... Oh, ow. Okay, yeah. Screw Typhon, this guy does a bit more damage. Basically, that's not stand in the things where water could... Oh, okay. You're a bit mean, aren't you? Yeah, basically look out for these old things and... 
It looks like you should be okay because the rest doesn't seem to deal that much damage. I might be wrong there. Oh, no, wait. Bubbles deal a fair amount of damage too. Um, don't get hit and you should be okay. Yeah. Oh, oh crap. He turned into a guy. Oh dear. Um, Join me, Lich King, in the battle of this uh, ferryman of the sticks. I am dangerously running low on heal healing potions. Oh dear. Scroll time. Oh crap, that's not good. Okay, I have one healing potion left. This could kill me. That's kind of bad. Probably should have bought more healing potions, but I didn't do that. Should be more careful around this guy. Don't hit me, don't no. Ooh, ooh, grief, that's close. Oh crap, there went my last healing potion. There's no way I can do this. Uh, yeah, if I can just keep dodging him, I could be okay, maybe. If I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little careful. Gonna be a little quiet, probably. Oh crap, I did not want that. I did not want that at all. Come <laughs> on, die. Oh, come on. Die, please, now. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and I got hit by the uh, thing in the end as well. Well, he actually dropped one of these essences that um, the other bosses dropped. That was a little close. <laughs> hmm. I'm probably gonna buy, yeah, probably gonna buy some healing potions. Um, well, that, that, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, indeed it would. So, um, should I risk trying to go to that? Yeah, I will risk uh, going to that resurrection. Hey! Really now? Let's see what he wants. Know this, Titan Smasher. Elysium is no more a paradise. I see great heroes die a second time, but never a third. Gods who should go, stay. Gods who should intervene, have departed. The living must take their place beside the dead. Save the dead from dying. Come to Elysium. Come soon. Come now. Come. Saving the dead from dying seems like kind of an awkward thing to do. So I'm just going to go back to the river sticks instead and uh, see if they're happy that I can bring them a nice ore so they can finally uh, cross it and be happy and stuff. Uh, hello. With the ore in my possession, I will take all shades to the other side. No more will they need to pay for their passage. A new era has dawned. Let all enter the realm of Hades and find their destiny. Sounds good to me. You have freed him, Marcus. Now we will take the boat and cross the river ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think these people are pretty happy now. Charon gone. How will we go? Is the way dangerous? Will another come to take his place at the boat? He's right there. You can see him from the other side of the boat. We are trying to get Okay, I've already talked to you. You're just a storyteller again. Yeah. Let me get this straight. The ferryman will never return. And someone has built a bridge across the river. So, in order to proceed to judgment, I must now walk. You just keep on whining. I was a baker's wife, mother of nine, all told. You just say the same thing again. You are not really prepared for him being there, are you? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Where to go? No yeah, okay, this is all just the same stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly see uh, what things I missed because... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Oh, return. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that, didn't I? I should probably go there at some point. I guess I'll go there anyway. Uh, this, that swims in the sticks and sometimes right it's all the time. Uh, I'll, I'll probably come, around, come across him too. But I guess I'll just go to Epirus to... Um, Turn in that other quest too that I apparently did at some point. I pay very good attention to these things, as you may have noticed. And I just love those portal transitions. I suppose you're the quest person too, aren't you? I won't exaggerate. Things are grim. But still, with their captain gone, we are given a chance to retake what is ours. Nice. And we got some stuff. And a ravenous splitter of terror. Um, 
Yeah, that's just another axe. Okay, I'm just gonna sail up and I'll see you back at that one rebirth fountain where we left off a moment ago. So yeah, see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. We got some new healing potions. Okay, thank you. Uh, we got some new healing potions and we can keep on going on our way, I suppose. Sounds like a good plan. These are uh, troglodyte troglodytes. Which is kind of an odd name, but probably carry some mythology behind it somewhere in the mist of time. Are being mean to these people, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of them and uh, pick up this cunning of cunning cunning thingy cunning. Very cunning, so cunning. Did I pick this up before? Probably not. No, it would appear not. Oh well. I guess we will not look at it then. There's a cave over there. I'm not sure if this is the cave to the land of the right direction or the cave to the land of the side quest monster that I have to kill at some point. This is a new road rather than a marsh of sorts. So... Uh, yeah, a little bit curious what's in this direction personally. I do hope you can't hear, hear that bloody motorcycle outside that's been vrooming for the last 20 minutes. Because if so, this video is going to have some amazing background music. I love it when people do that right outside my house. It's great fun. Great fun. Especially when they do it every bloody day. Why? What's so interesting about the bloody thing? It doesn't... It barely moves and you can't even drive it around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was my rant about random motorcycles outside my house. Actually, it's not a random motorcycle. It's the exact same one every single time by the exact same person who sits on it every single time. And I'm just kind of wondering how he's still fascinated by it when he can only drive outside his bloody yard. But, you know, that's a rant for a different time. It's uh, not important. It's not important at all. It's uh, nothing to worry about. It's something we should ignore entirely while recording a nice video in a game where you're a titan slayer thief mob. So, yeah. Let's go in this direction now, shall we? And see what is over here. There is more of these things. I truly did not see that coming. That is a lie, but you know. Mostly for the reason that I kind of looked in this direction before and saw that anyway. So yeah, kind of had a hunch that it would be there and stuff. And this would be the Stygian Marsh that the side quest man was talking about. So I guess... Uh, oh, what? What? Oh, crabs! Why? Why are the crabs? Even if you go to the river Styx, you're gonna end up with small little crabs attacking you. Why? Why always the crabs? I don't know. But they're so adorable, so they have to be slain. Die, cute thing. You do not belong here. You belong elsewhere, the world where there are no cute things. Wait, this is the world where there are no cute things. Um, you belong in a world where there are many cute things, like... Uh, one of the Barbie games, I suppose. There are a lot of things in there that I guess some people would call cute, so you might as well end up there. Because why not? But ignoring Barbie, let's just continue in this direction and kill more crabs, because apparently we went from evil undead overlord of the river Styx that carries people around, but not anymore because he's a bastard, ran off and nearly killed me, to tiny crabs, because, you know, that's a, that's a good transition, I believe. It's a pretty good transition. Granted, I probably could have done that one boss battle a little bit better and with a few less healing potions considering the last half of his health bar pretty much used no healing potions at all, but you know. I like being bad at games. Ha ha ha. Ah, delightful. But yeah. <laughs> 